Today we'll be calculating measures of dispersion. We've already seen how to calculate the mean and the mad. We'll now be calculating the standard deviation and the variance. So let's add some symbols. We'll be talking about the standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure similar to the MAD, just calculated different. We'll be using this later in our um, for, in formulas later on. So the standard deviation is represented by the Greek letter sigma. So you just make a little circle and give it a tail. Little circle, you give it a tail. That's sigma. That's the small sigma, Greek letter. In your calculator, it's going to look like this, and it's going to have an X in it. It's going to be a little curly with an X by it in the calculator. But when we write it, we just use the letter, the Greek letter um, sigma. We'll also be talking about the variance. And the way we calculate the variance is really just sigma squared. So if we were to represent that, we do a sigma squared. So if we know standard deviation, we square that, and that's going to be our variance. So let's go into our data. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got some data in here. I'm going to highlight it and clear it. And then I'm going to highlight it and clear it. All right, so let's put in the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have my data in here, and I'm going to calculate the standard deviation. Well, the calculator calculates it for us. So we just need to go into stat, calculate a one bar stat on list one. So I need to change my list to list one and hit calculate. So here are our numbers on that data list. We see our old friend there, X bar, the average, right there. But we're looking for this little sigma. We're looking for sigma x. And there it is. Okay, so that is our standard deviation. If we wanted to find the variance, we take that number and square it. So we're going to take 14.14 and square that. Fourteen point one four squared is one hundred ninety nine point nine four. So the variance would be one hundred ninety nine point nine four. That's all there is to it. Let's try it again. Go back to our calculator. Let's go back to stat and edit. Let's clear the list. Let's count by twenties. Twenty. 40, 60, 80, 100. All right, that gives us five data points. All right, so let's calculate the standard deviation. Stat, calculate a one bar stat on list one. We're going to calculate, let's look at the numbers. Here we go. Here's our old friend X bar. Go down here to little sigma. 28.28 is our standard deviation. I like to call it the standard D. So there's our standard deviation. Now if I take 28.28, and square it. So 
799.75. That is my variance.